Again, it's now my honor to introduce the combined Naperville Fire and Police Honor Guard who will proceed to post the colors and lead us all in the Pledge of Allegiance. to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. You may all be seated. As we prepare for our comments from our beloved Mayor George A. P a. George Pradel, it is my pleasure to introduce a man that many of you know. He is everywhere in this city. You're going to hear about how our city thrives because of its partnerships, and the mayor knows that Ray Kinney embodies that spirit of working together to make Naperville the best it can be. Ray is a great example of how our business community gives back to Naperville as a whole through community engagement and civic philanthropy. He spends his day hard at work at Minuteman Press and the Macklin Group, but in his free time, he has continued to spend countless hours serving Naperville through his work with North Central College, the Naperville Development Partnership, Choose DuPage, Rotary, the JC's Exchange Club, and many others. As you can see with Ray, the concept of free time is all about giving back and thinking of others. Without further ado, please welcome Ray Kinney.
Thanks, Mike. Um, when the mayor called me and asked me to uh, introduce him today, I thought, you know, the first time I met the guy, I wasn't really impressed. <laughs> Second time, I really wasn't impressed. It wasn't until the third time that he arrested me and <laughs> sitting in the back of the squad car that we had that conversation that, that I recalled so many more years later. But uh, ever since uh, our good friend George Pradle has been elected to his status as mayor of Naperville, he's been a friend of the business community. Uh, Chris talked about the Lucent building and a, a quick story. The NDP was formed shortly after George's election in 1996 and one of the first things that we did, Christine Jeffries put together a contingent of folks that flew out to New Jersey. We're the only community that did that and because of that effort and, and our mayor that went out there and listened to the needs of the business community and, and asked them to come to Naperville, did they make their presence here in Naperville? That's the type of leadership that George has shown in the business community. We're very, very fortunate to have him as our mayor. So without further ado, everybody! <laughs> I'd like to welcome the Honorable A. George Braille, Mayor of Naperville! You're doing well. Thank you. Well, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for joining me here for my second speech in the beautiful Marriott Hotel. I'm honored to present my 18th State of the City address to you. And thank you, Ray, for that wonderful introduction. Wow, I, I'm going to have to take some lessons from you for my, your enthusiasm and your love for the Naperville, along with your volunteer spirit, is a shining example of what makes this city so great. Let's give Ray a big round of applause! <laughs> Before I begin, uh, I would like to recognize a very special person in my life, and that's my wife, Pat. She's not here today, and she and I will be married 53 years this August, and she and my family have always been my biggest supporters, and I do see my daughter Carol snuck in in the back here. I didn't know she was going to be part of that today. She's sitting with Emmy and, and Cheryl from my office, and so Carol, thank you for being here, but to my wife, Pat, thanks for being by my side. Thank you to Mike Evans, our new president and CEO of the Chamber for making today possible. I'm confident Mike is the best person to help the Chamber grow. He is a strong advocate for business and will lead our five-star Chamber to even greater success. Mike, welcome to Naperville. We're glad you're here. And congratulations to the Chamber on celebrating its 100th anniversary this year. <laughs> Naperville's progress is thanks to the hard work of our past leaders. We have two of them still involved in city life, former Mayor Peg Price and Chet Rybecki. I recently visited Chet, who was also one of the founding fathers of the Riverwalk, and he remains just as passionate about Naperville as when he was mayor. I'm proud to call them both friends, and I've served under both of them. Peg is our first and only female mayor, and she's here today. Let's give her a round of applause. The City Council works so well together as a team. 
It's not about what I want or what any one person on the council wants. It's about all of us working together to make the best decisions for you. Last year, Councilman Ken Miller announced he would not be running for re-election. I want to say thank you to Ken from the bottom of my heart for his service on the council for the past eight years. Ken has added great value to countless discussions, and it has been a privilege to work with him. Ken, please stand. Let's give him a round of applause. This year, I really felt the council have made a lot of progress and will continue to listen to everyone and take all opinions to heart. You can talk to any council member you want about any issue. I'd like to recognize each council member again, and please hold your applause until everyone has been introduced. Council, please stand when your name is called. Councilwoman Judy Broadhead, Steve Cherico, Bob Beesler, Paul Hinterlong, Doug Krause, Joe McElroy, Ken Miller, and Grant Worley. Let's give them their all a big round of applause. The council oversees only one employee, city manager Doug Krieger. As a naval officer in his past life, he once spent 91 days underwater in a submarine. If he can be underwater for 91 days, certainly he can lead a city, then run the city in a great manner in, in here in the future. Doug is a fearless leader of all city employees. These are the people who make our services top notch. They keep the roads clear, in case we have a lot of snow, and make sure the lights are on, clean water is flowing, and everyone is safe and secure. There were some big changes in City Hall leadership this year, and while we may have created some new roles, they're all familiar faces. One is new Deputy City Manager Marcy Schatz. Marcy oversees public utilities, public works, and communications. And we had to look no further than our Transportation Engineering and Development Department to find her. Marcy's position was created when former assistant city manager Bob Marshall became Naperville's new chief of police in May. While it is hard to say goodbye to former chief David Dial, Chief Marshall has a clear vision for our department. Marcy's move left a gap filled by former city engineer Bill Novak. Bill is known throughout the region as a leader in engineering issues. He's also committed to development and making sure we have well-planned projects for our community. City Attorney Margo Ely assumed leadership of the Human Resources and Safety Departments in 2012. City Clerk Pam Lefevre now oversees the Information Technology Department, and both Margo and Pam will identify where we can use existing resources to do more for taxpayers. I'd like to recognize the directors right now, and so please save your applause until everyone has been recognized. Directors, please stand as your name is called. Electric Department Director, Mark Curran. Finance Director, Karen DeAngelis. Public Works Director, Dick Dablinski. City Attorney, Margo Ely. Water Department Director, Jim Josefo. City Clerk, Pam Lefevre. Police Chief, Bob Marshall. Transportation Engineering and Development Business Group Director, Bill Novak and Fire Chief Mark Pucknitis. Now let's give him a round of applause. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I am here today to, to tell you 
that the state of our beloved city is strong and will remain strong because the entire community works together. Teamwork moves Naperville forward. We are one team. With this attitude, we provide the people who live and work here with an exceptional quality of life. Each year, the city council uh, insists staff present it with a balanced budget. I'm happy to say that we will have a balanced budget in the next fiscal year. We've also been able to reduce the city portion of your property tax bill. We'll see a $1.2 million reduction in the tax levy next year. Over the last three years, our tax levy has declined by 7.5%, saving the average homeowner an estimated $90. And with the average homeowner paying only $960 each year in property tax for city services, we really feel that we're giving you a good bang for your buck. I am also happy to report that several of the city's revenue sources have shown significant signs of improvement. Our retail sales tax revenues grew to $28.5 million at the end of the last fiscal year. That's 5% above our pre-recession high of $27.1 million. And we're seeing more increases this year. We've already a, we've already a total of $1 million above last year's uh, sales tax receipts. We're also estimating a 5% increase in income tax revenue by the end of April. I'm happy to say more homes are being purchased in Naperville. Almost 1,000 homes were sold from May to August 2012, more than a 40% increase from the same time in 2011. Our real estate transfer tax revenue is rising as a result. We've estimated we're, we'll take in $2.85 million, a 9% increase from 2011. On top of these revenue increases, we've kept costs down while maintaining services. I'm very proud that our health care and workers' compensation costs are coming in lower than expected. Our employees recognize the need to share in the health care costs and put safety first on the job. Our fiscal responsibility is reflected in Naperville's AAA bond rating from Moody's and Standard & Poor's. We've held that rating for 17 years, and the agencies say we have a well-managed and solid financial outlook. Remember, the city is just one portion of your property tax bill, just as the city, park district, school districts, and townships work together for you, they all make up your tax bill. Out of every property tax dollar, the city only receives about 12%, a great value for your hard-earned money. The city alone does not make a community. Intergovernmental partnerships are essential to Naperville's success. Development uh, happens to uh, Naperville when everyone brings their ideas and talents to the table. The Naperville Development Partnership, led by Christine Jeffries, attracts world-class businesses to the city. The Chamber of Commerce helps them survive and thrive. Formal groups like the Naperville Area Homeowners Confederation and even informational coffee clubs help us hear the viewpoints of people who call this city home. Thanks to those partnerships, we are writing the new post-recession story of Naperville. We're seeing the economy recover because of solid financial decisions. I'm confident by working together, we will continue to recover. I believe we're, we've virtually done an exceptional job. 2012 brought new growth to this area. Naperville Bank and Trust 
renovated the downtown post office building and now shares that space with the post office. There was so much care and concern put into preserving the historic features of the building and it looks fantastic. Many of you have already had the chance to dine at Fiamme, the new Italian restaurant along Washington Street. What a beautiful addition to our north downtown and business community. We also welcomed the Naperville Chrysler Jeep Dodge Ram and infinity of Naperville car dealerships. All of our dealerships are so important to Naperville. Automobiles are one third of Naperville's retail sales. BMO Harris, thank you, brought uh, almost 2,000 employees to town in 2012, and Handy Foil also opened its doors. Three, cut! The Chamber of Commerce was waiting with open arms for these and other new businesses. 66 ribbon cuttings let the world know that Naperville is open for business. There are several major projects set for 2013. All of these new developments will enhance our economy and help us bring prosperity to our city. The long desired Main Street Promenade East will break ground this spring and open next year. This expansion will have retail restaurant and office space surrounding its Van Buren parking lot. A new medical building at Benton and Washington will provide office space and a new northern gateway to the downtown. The beauty of downtown is important to all of us and through a partnership between the city uh, Dwight Ackley and the Naperville Bank and Trust will be removing even more of the overhead utility poles in that area. Standard Market will give uh, residents a chance to shop and dine all in one place. This uh, specialty grocery store will be at Ogden and, uh, and Aurora on the old Frank's Nursery property. We've, we're already also working on business retention. We want to make sure that the world-class businesses in Naperville stay in Naperville. The new Walmart uh, Supercenter will break ground at 75th and BB. This expanded uh, Walmart is estimated to bring three quarters of a million dollars alone in sales tax revenue. Sometimes no growth is a reason to celebrate. There's one site that I'm happy to say and, and, and is reported vacant. The building north of Burger King, a long-standing eyesore, was purchased by North Central College and demolished on January 19th. For years, people have asked me. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> For years, people have asked me uh, when this was going to be destroyed, and I'm happy to announce the demolition with my good friend and former North Central <laughs> College uh, President, Dr. Hal Wilde. <laughs> One upcoming project will give us short-term headaches and bring long-term gain. This summer, IDOT will begin work on one part of the long-awaited and much-needed Route 59 expansion from I-88 to Aurora Avenue. A big thank you to State Representative Darlene Sanger for her hard work uh, getting this project into the state capital uh, bill. Thanks for all of you that are here from the state representing the state today. We appreciate all you're doing for Naperville. Work will begin at the uh, I-88 interchange to construct a new diverging diamond ent entrance and exit. Construction will move south to North Aurora Road and then Aurora Avenue over the next two years. We know this project will be inconvenient, but uh, years from now, everyone will have an easier time getting to all of the places 
along Route 59 a little faster. Please ask everyone you know to visit these businesses during construction. I also encourage everyone to visit the city's website and sign up for our Route 59 newsletter. Major projects like these are a great topic of discussion for the, for Na for the Naperville Development Partnerships Lunch with the Mayor. I uh, think it's uh, really like having lunch with the entire city because we have city staff available from our different departments so that you can get all of your questions answered in one place and at one time. And for those who visit Central Park for a band concert or to play, new permanent restrooms will be open by the Memorial Day weekend. Other developments to, in, uh, to come include Fair Oaks Lincoln Ford, a two-story uh, addition to Edward Hospital, Silverado Senior Living, uh, Mon Monarch Landing Healthcare Center, IMED Campus Medical Office Building, and the Oaks Apartments at Naperville Crossings. The city will keep working hard to help everyone save money. Some of our largest projects were, are des designed to give all of you more control over your costs. We want to make sure you keep more of your money to, to your, uh, in your pocket. The Naperville Smart Grid uh, Initiative will help control your utility costs. Last year, more than 57,000 digital smart meters were installed on homes and businesses. Soon you can choose an electric rate that makes sense with your way of life. New time of, uh, new time of use rates will let you shift your electric use, if you want, to different hours. And then this would possibly and will ca cause you to save money. Thanks to the city's membership in the Illinois Municipal Electric Agency, we are keeping increases in electric rates at a minimum. For the past two years, we've had no rate increases. On May 1st, we'll see a 2% increase, followed by 2% increases in 2014 and 2015. This may seem uh, like a lot, but if uh, we were not part of this group, we'd put ourselves at risk for larger increases. We've also, uh, we're also ensuring long-term stability in our power for the future. We're also working hard to make Naperville environmentally friendly. The popular renewable energy program, which I'm proud to be part of, is now run by the city. We will expand the program and provide tens of thousands of dollars in grant funding for renewable energy projects. Last fall, we installed the first public electric vehicle charging station downtown. It's been used almost 200 times since October. The police department is even going to be getting an electric vehicle for its community service officer car. The recycling uh, drop-off center moved to a larger area by our public works building to serve you better. Thanks to the move, we are able to we accept electronics for recycling each day the center is open. Last year, over 600,000 pounds were collected. A community is a, about more than just economic growth. It's about giving people pride in their city and the desire to live here, grow here, and raise their kids here. Generations of families have called Naperville home for good reason. We depend on our community partners like the Five Star Ranked Library and nationally accredited Park District to round out our quality of life and provide re recreation and entertainment options. Naperville Faith Community keeps us strong and brings us together 
in good times and bad. When we learned about the horrible school shooting in Newtown, Connecticut, our spiritual leaders provided comfort, hope, and healing. They also give back to the community by helping not-for-profits succeed. We also rely on our strong volunteer spirit. We have more than 350 volunteers on city boards and commissions, group like the Planning and Zoning Commission and the Transportation Advisory Board give us a guidance and support in making decisions. And the Municipal Volunteer Program lets residents greet visitors to the City Hall and make sure they get where they want to go. Community partners like Kids Matter let the children get a taste of volunteership at an early age. We all give back to our one another through fundraisers and annual support. The Exchange Club, JCs, and many more groups host events each year. The city's special events and cultural amenities group uh, helps many of these events take place. The money from a citywide 1% food and beverage tax is set aside to help celebrate Naperville's culture and heritage. Our society, our special uh, social services grant program helps organizations fulfill a need in town. For the next fiscal year, we increase the money available from, the, from 250000 to 300000 because this additional money will be used for drug abuse and suicide prevention programs to help all of us, especially our youth. The giving spirit of all these groups starts at the top with their leaders. We recently had some new people take the reins to let their voices and opinions shape the city's story. North Central College President Hal Wilde announced his retirement in 2012. And Dr. Hal, thank you for your, your friendship and partnership. And let's give a moment to applaud this is his job. Well done in Naperville! <laughs> the city's, or the college's new president, uh, Naperville resident, Dr. Troy Hammond, has been described as a president for the future. I wish him nothing but success as he leads the great institution forward uh, uh, for the next thousand years. Troy, please uh, stand and be recognized. <laughs> Naperville Settlement also said goodbye to a longtime executive director, Peggy Frank. Peggy's contributions to making Naperville Settlement a premier outdoor museum will never be forgotten. Let's give Peggy a round of applause. <laughs> School District 203 chose Dan Bridges to replace former superintendent Dr. Mark Mitrovich. Dan is a champion of education and will help our kids succeed in the future. Dan, please stand and be recognized. <laughs> Speaking of schools, several earned national blue ribbon recognition. These, uh, this program honors schools where students perform at high levels or where great achievement improvements have taken place, most under uh, Dr. Burkett. St. Peter and Paul at school, Dr. Uh, our, our District 204's White Eagle and Fry Elementary were all named Blue Ribbon Schools in 2012. I'm pr so proud our schools, both public and private, are giving kids the foundation to become successful adults who contribute to society, both at home and around the world. They're making Naperville a household name, and we're so proud of them. 
Our media partners also add to the community. They inform the people about what is going on and in Naperville, especially in Naperville, and keep the city accountable for its actions. Thank you for all that you do. I can't forget what the city's employees also have done for all of us. Our employees are second to none. They tirelessly work on behalf of the residents and businesses and the city council especially and, and, and me and all of us that live in Naperville realize that our, our greatest asset is our employees. Our employees have also taken on special projects with community partners. Dr. Bob Buckman and the Naperville Area Homeowners Confederation worked hand in hand with the Public Works uh, team to combat the emerald ash borer beetle. Thanks to this partnership, we're seeing great results. We've treated uh, almost 16,000 ash trees and 94% have minor or no beetle damage. To all of our employees, thank you. You helped make Naperville so special. The council and I appreciate everything you do. You are the greatest asset we have in the city. As Naperville continues to change, one key belief holds firm, safety first. The city makes safety a primary, a priority of the all day, every day, and we believe safety is everyone's responsibility, whether you're a merchant, member of the police force, resident, or even the mayor. On New Year's Eve night, a truck backed into my vehicle, so I'm starting 2013 with a renewed uh, dedication to safety. <laughs> our mutual, our, our number one goal is to provide a safe environment for everyone. The businesses are a partner in this effort. Recently, the Restaurant Association of Naperville, along with the Downtown Naperville Alliance, Naperville Development Partnership, and several city employees met to discuss how to provide a safe and entertaining downtown nightlife. Their safety program, Celebrate Safety, in Naperville, lets us all share best practices and focus on making safety the top priority. Our police department does an excellent job of keeping the downtown and city safe. In fact, since we increased patrol, patrol officers downtown, serious incidents have decreased. All of Naperville is an exciting place to visit. We are blessed to have so many great businesses helping shape Naperville's future. I have nothing but praise for all of you. As we move into the new year, the City Hall, uh, it, as we move into the new year, the City will enhance our relationships with regional and state elected officials. We want to, make, we want to work hand in hand with them. We need to work together as a team to do what is right for Naperville. Naperville, just hearing people say the name of the city that I have called my home for 74 years warms my heart. This city is a gem of not only the state, but the entire Midwest. I've said it before and I'll say it again. We are a big city with a small town atmosphere. We care about each other and it's genuine feeling. People here aren't looking for publicity when they help their neighbor or a friend. They do it because it's just the right thing to do. Even when tragedy strikes us to our core, we come together and learn how to move forward together. 2013 is an opportunity to write the next chapter in our story, but we cannot tell this tale alone. We cannot move forward by ourselves. As you leave today, take a moment to thank the person next to you for what they do for Naperville and wherever they're from and whatever they do. Relationships are the most important assets we have. I'd like to thank Naperville Community Television for their 
partnership in producing today's video presentation. I'd also like to thank city staff for their work on this year's speech. They helped uh, collectively write this story of our city, and one that is ever, ever changing, but only getting better and gooder and gooder. Finally, I <laughs> want to thank, and I want to end on a great note. Last year, Money Magazine named Naperville its annual best places to live, and a list, we're on the top of the list again. We were the highest ranked city in Illinois. Here's some of what they said. Community is the king in Naperville. Come summer, residents converge on Centennial Beach, a huge quarry purchased by the city during the 1931 Centennial celebrations. Or stroll along the 1.75 miles of brick paths on the DuPage Riverwalk in the heart of town. Top schools and lots of jobs round this, out, picture, round this picture out of near perfection. I could not agree more. In Naperville, community is king. And to you all, thank you for making this city what it is today. God bless all of you. God bless Naperville. God bless Illinois. Thank you.